Let's have a look at the Queen, who appears to be bouncing back. Yes, well, um, as we were talking about old age, obviously, and health and mobility, the Queen has taken delivery of a £62,000 golf buggy packed with gizmos to help her navigate uh, palaces and functions. Um, and this is ever so exciting. I mean, I'm not sure what to call it. Some people are calling it the Queen Mobile. I like Corgi Cart. Oh, that's, Ooh, that's nice. That's we do like that. That's nice. Maybe. Um, I mean, you're going to assume this is going to be bomb-proof. It's going to be bulletproof. She's got a little screen so she can wa watch her goggle box and her stories. She's got a little fridge. Has where... Elon Musk made this vehicle? <laughs> no. This vi I mean, it does sound like it could have been an Elon Musk thing, though, doesn't it? I mean, really, if it was Elon Musk, he'd have put it in a vacuum tube as well. So you'd have super fast vacuum queen just... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> 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 um, but it's been made by the people, um, apparently it's the Rolls Royce of golf carts, yes. Mm, it comes it with four leather seats, perfect for your Ooh. dogs. And uh, the staff have been driving it around. Of course they have. Wouldn't you yeah. love to have the chance of fill, driving? Fill your boots. Right? <laughs> Doing donuts in the Queen's bulletproof golf cart. Um, and it's been made by uh, a Danish company called Garia, Garia? Uh, but they're linked to Mercedes-Benz. Now, I'm all for it, but you've got to admit, royals have got to be careful when they're driving Mercedes-Benz, but hopefully she won't drive it anywhere yeah, in that's, Paris. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> they, they've got a bit of previous on that one, haven't they? There you go, the Queen Machine in action, the Corgi Cart. What a great shout.